Ooh, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the Garden Boss YouTube channel. Never fail to. I go by the name of the two million of the two and five things you can do to prepare for the 2022 loan care season. Never fail by cutting up loan care and development. Never fail to. I find a idea my about it. So before we tune in, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Never fail to. Boom, 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 boom. As Bangi and Jayan. I want to tell you that I'm going to Even before we do it, I want to tell you that I'm going to go Marketing is very, very, very important. Wow, make sure we like it's huge, it's eye catching, wow, it's it's readable, wow. Meaning was kind of like customers like what about like it's what was on a logo na jolo jolo wow. And make sure kinya number ta ha wow, buma email or na ueta e wow because when I'm zanti I'm sure buma di pay install a ready it wow. E nanto zinu zinu a ready it but this sort installation na I'm zanti mo na rakuta it's a fella like in rapid a fella e wow mo a yepe de fella banabis as bangi ninja ya. What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing well out there in YouTube land. It is Richard, owner of Cutting Up Lawn Care and Development, you where quality Richard. gets quantity. Oh, and I'm on yeah. here today to give you a quick video. So, I've been talking about people who are like, what you got to go and answer the whole. To get a little go, it's very important to have your name on your, on your, on your, on your, on your marriage. Wow, wow. My kid, this thing, little how I business, it's a key holder, cell phone cover, wow, wow. As a small reminder, this is the last week of February. And so um, we got, we normally start cutting grass in the first, the second week in March. Um, we got some rain today. I want to give you five things that you can be doing right now in your lawn care business to get ready for the 2022 season. Before we get into that, I ask that you like, subscribe, and share the video. All right? So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. Number five, purchasing parts and equipment in your off season. Honestly, you should have been doing this like in December or January because the, the parts and equipment is a little cheaper in the off season. Right now, we're right in the cusp of things where the season is about to begin. And so the prices are going to uh, go back up. Everything's already inflated anyway, but... Um, Right before the season kicks in, the prices start going up. So you. And another thing, Buffett, too. Who crucial? In terms of work, crucial. How are you going to get in bulk, Buffett? Whether it's your petrol, or a nice string wire, or a nice two stroke, or a nice material of your body blade, body aim, Buffett. Make sure you buy them in bulk. That's the evil I would tell you all about it. That's banging in jail. Definitely want to make sure that you get all your parts and equipment that you need for the 2022 season early. Um, like I said, they're more expensive during the uh, beginning and the peak season. Number four, you want to take your equipment to the shop for repairs. Uh, most maintenance shops uh, are not busy during the slower seasons. Uh, in turn, you'll get your equipment back a little faster. So um, I had to get some work done on my Gravely. And I believe I took it in in like the end of November. And it was there for like two to three weeks. 
which was fine because I have, first of all, I have a backup mower. And then second of all, I'm not really that busy where I need the mower in that in those seasons. So um, I do a lot of landscaping work in that time. And so uh, I got my machine back and it's ready for action. All right. Um, again, you want to do that in your off seasons so uh, you have less downtime. Don't please don't wait until uh, the season kicks in or when something actually goes bad where you have no choice but to take it in because you're going to be waiting forever. Right, well, it. And another thing I want to add to that, go over like, I wonder when it's off season, most people sell the machines. I don't know why. So you can find like secondhand machines to shop over it because during winter, some people sell the machines because they're no longer going to have to use them during the winter season because why? Why bad? And it was a whole lot of So yeah, but I think it's best to run to the old prepare before season air put that color of it. Run to the genus company that's on our one of it. As man gaining, yeah. Especially when the season kicks back in. All right. Number three, you want to make sure all your licenses are up to date and you are in compliance with the state that you do business in. Um, this one, I can't stress enough. Uh, if you wait to get your license renewed or your compliance uh, new, uh, renewed, sorry, there's going to be an extra cost. Now, this happened to me, I want to say my second year of business. I thought I had everything in order. I thought everything was okay. And come to find out my license, my business license, I didn't pay for it in one year. And so wow. when I went to go back the next year to pay for the license, yeah, I had to pay for the previous year and the current year and the fines on top of that. So to avoid those fines, just make sure you're up to date. Number two, please, please get yourself a business checking account, at least. I'm not sure, you know, uh, depending on what you want to do with your business, I'm not sure if you want to get a savings account, but at least get yourself a business checking account. All right. Um, number one. Before our number one, number three, two, yeah. It's very important to like business or even a little account that thing at home or off it. Go up on your chair to have that business because then you know what? When I look at your chair, they got money. When I know you have, yeah, how I can make it better. Can two from now, yeah, business off it. And it's very important to respect the business or off it. Even though yeah, how I access to the passwords, access to the money. You want to organize your business. Uh, organize all your business expenses. Um, this helps for tax purposes, and this just makes things easier when it comes for tax preparation. You should know... Um, what you spent on equipment, what you spent on employees, what you spent on maintenance. And a good way to do that is to get a CRM software. So I use Yardbook. And if you, uh, if you are familiar with Yardbook, there is a feature in there called Profit and Loss Estimates where you can actually key in all of your expenses and everything you spent on your business. And at the end of the year, you can go to that profit and loss estimate and it will show a breakdown of everything you spent and it will be categorized. Yeah, I didn't know if it was good either this year, if not last year, like, I'm talking like, I'm going to be able to do it. 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 I only realized it after the calculator and told me, okay, one, two, one, two, and don't, 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 Business in Ningu Lung, not only on guarding service on Ingwabo, all of our Tiwabo, Peter Hall, always spend the day. Children will spend the day, Morga at Hamufun Ladaman or Rumurik, customer Rumurich, each a lady in two one is. 
and this line of food in our mobile. You have a that you see some text, and more like that, you know exactly what we cheat a couple. Wabo, what's a lamb of it? That's my game in jail. It will be in order, and you can actually download that to your computer and send that to your tax specialist. All right, mm -hmm. and so. Those were the five things that you can be doing right now to get your business ready for the 2022 season. And as a bonus, to thank you guys for watching this video in its entirety, I got one more thing for you. This is very important. Something you want to do to get yourself ready for the 2022 lawn care season is you want to invest in your, in your health and mentorship. And whatever that looks like for you, that's what it is. So for me, ah, that I'll be trying to get out of it. That way, try to get that invest in your health and mentorship. You have it. That's only what I'm telling my dear guys. Panano, now go to Banga. I was a book good. I should have had a lot of speed. My dear man, you have it. Wow, invest in your health and mentorship. But then, I'm uniform when I actually inspired. I was inspired by the guy. One of our blades of grass. Hey, I'm Junist. Shout out to Juni. You have it from Blades of Grass. Hey, you have it. We have a feed. That's my game in Jayam. Completely transparent with you. For my health, I have a personal trainer, and um, I decided to get a personal trainer for my off season because I noticed a lot of. My and by the way, I feel to now I'm a I'm a so called vegan. Vegan, I'm a vegetarian. I get the somewhere in between. My money journey of becoming a frugivore. I'm a vegan. I get the vegan frugivore. You mustn't ask him about the junk food. That's a story for another day. As Bangi and Jaya. I um, I guess you could say fellow um lawn care providers. When it's slow, everybody likes to sit at home. I keep hearing the same thing. Like, yeah, I keep going back and forth to the fridge like ten times a day, and you know, I just didn't want to fall into that facade. So I decided to get myself a personal trainer. And, uh, you know, just keep myself healthy, keep myself moving, keep myself involved. And then also I uh, invested in some mentorship. Um, mentorship is very important, people. That's another thing I can't stress enough about. You're not going to know everything about everything. But there are people that have more knowledge than you. Maybe because they have more employees or they've been in the game a little bit longer. I want more of that money by Fiji Junior from Blaze of Grass. Ah, that money can just give me by Fiji. Ah, that money, that money should be the president of America by Fiji. True, that money so inspired to bang at a fool. But I'll leave the link in the description. Never want to check a channel here by Fiji. Come on. And if they're offering mentorship, you want to go ahead and try it out. You know, it doesn't hurt. It, what I learned with mentorship is um, there's always something new to learn. Once I invested in mentorship, I was like, I had, I had no idea about, you know, this subject matter or what I was seeking about. And so that just helps you level up in your business. And so um, that was pretty much it for today. I hope you learned something. Yep. The five things you need to do right now in your lawn care business. Make sure you purchase your parts and equipment now or, you know, before the season starts. Um, take your equipment to the shop in your off seasons. Get everything repaired that needs to be repaired. Please do not wait until that equipment is broken down or you are in the middle of the busy, the busiest month of your lawn care season to go and take something in because guess what? You're not going to see it for a couple of months and i'm being modest okay um make sure all your license i'm going to go over my feet to go over because then listen to you some chin you're going to end the fat no she never fit to into lucky so i want to check on it but it's about for i'm not a no who need so i fit now over feet now over feet are up to date and you are in compliance with the state that you do business in Trust me, you do not want to incur more fines than you have to, right? Um, please, people, please get yourself a business checking account. I can tell you this. If you go to a 
um, credit union, most of the times to open an account, it's like five bucks, five, ten bucks. And credit unions are, you know, a little better anyway. They give better products and um, better interest rates. So you might want to check that out. Organize your business. It's easier for you in the long haul. Um, it's easier for your tax specialists. And um, it's just a way to, to keep everything in order. Um, when I first started, man, I was writing things down on paper, trying to remember everything. Please go and invest in some CRM software. For the basic stuff, most of it is free. Um, I've been with Yardbook so long, and I, I, you know, I keep keep saying Yardbook because I've been using Yardbook since I started. But um, I started out not paying a monthly uh, subscription. A lot of the products they had for me was free. It was so much free stuff that I was like, eventually I'm going to have to, you know, get a subscription to see what I'm missing. So, yeah, please invest in you some CRM software just to keep things organized. And lastly, invest in your health and mentorship. Invest in Those your health probably and are the definitely. top things that you want to do because without you, none of this is possible. Yep. So you have to make sure you're in great health and you know you're ready to incur everything that we go through in the lawn care season and you know i don't have to elaborate on that you know you know what i'm talking about you know what we go through so yep. um those are just some quick tips for today if you got any comments please leave it in the comments section let me know what you think or if you got any um any ideas of what you could be doing for the lawn care season leave it in the comments section because we're all here to grow and to learn and so i'm yeah. just giving you my experiences and, and showing you how i scale my business up all right on that note um be happy healthy and safe please don't forget to like share and subscribe this information so we can get it out to i don't forget to like share and subscribe of it i'll leave the link to the original video of it down in the description below boom i'm out